I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Friday, August 2nd. Soybeans are higher in the early going, continuing to keep an eye on the weather. August is generally considered the critical month for U.S. soybean development, and forecasts this week have turned a little bit hotter and drier over the next couple of weeks. That could cause at least a little bit of stress. Still at this point, the trade is expecting a record yield for soybeans and for corn for that matter. Development weather a little bit critical for corn at this stage of things with most of the crop through the pollination phase, but they are seeing a little bit of oversold support there as well. And wheat's higher, oversold and due for a bounce and keeping an eye on some U.S. and world weather issues, including hot, dry conditions in parts of the northern U.S. plains and Canada, quality issues in portions of Europe, and ongoing drought in parts of the Black Sea region. USDA's next round of production estimates is out on August 12th. Live and feeder cattle are waiting for this week's direct cash cattle business to really get going. Direct cash cattle markets have been fairly quiet with just some light trade reported yesterday at 188 live and 310 on the dress basis. And as for the hogs, they continue to monitor demand with the pork carcass cutout value up and down this week. With the opening market minute for Friday, August 2nd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins. Stay tuned for this afternoon's update.